This is NVIDIA on the 5-minute time frame. Here are your price targets for Thursday. We ended the day at $98.91, down 5.12%. To the north side from where we are takes us to resistance and a potential take profit area. It's also at VWAP, 103.24 in the blue line and the green line there. And above that, at two standard deviations and another level of resistance, 108.65, 111.42, and at four standard deviations, roughly 114.21. To the south side, support takes us to roughly 97.56, another level of support, 94.75, and at negative four standard deviations, roughly $92.05. You can see up here, resistance, and we fall down back to the middle of the trend, fell down even more, and then bounce up back to resistance, fell down, grinding sideways, and then back down to support, and people bought in. This is the dip, the dip, and the dip, and then we went up to resistance and sold off back down to support and then making our way back to resistance and now back down to support. So I will anticipate a bounce off of this line, this line, and if we wick down here, definitely a buy-in. Cleaning up the chart, this gap is still in play. I will extend it out. I have no idea when it's going to touch, but right now we are still going downward, but it's not as steep as it has been. It's going sort of sideways but down so that's a good sign so all of these gaps to the downside have filled and the other gap that i'm looking at will take us to 7408 closing out at roughly 6770 we are not in that channel not in that zone not even close but if we continue to go south that could play out Oh gosh, it's going to be many, many weeks from now. So I'm not even going to say when, because again, we're not in that channel, just something to be aware of. And then there's another gap to the south side that takes us down to roughly $30.40. Not in that channel, not in the zone, not even close. Again, something to be aware of. And I'm not even sure if we're going to get that low, but the gap is still an open wound to the south side. I'll show you what this looks like on the daily. See, that's where this gap is. And it's hard to see, but we are right here at 98.91. And from where we are, one target will be right back up to this line. Will take us to roughly 114.75 with this gap that I just talked about earlier. And so from here, another target area to the south side, 90.85. The one year price target on this puppy is 139.70, which represents a 41% return from where we are. Now the next ticker I wanna go over is Fortinet, FTNT. It's been a very long time since I tracked this ticker. We are up 25%. So congratulations if you've made money off of this stock, cybersecurity stock company. And yeah, cybersecurity solutions. All right. The one year price target 7213, which is only a 3% return from where we are. There are plenty of other trades that will make you more money. But you know, that's better than putting this into your Chase regular bank account. No, thank you. All right, so let me give you some price targets. Oh, and we ran off of earnings. The reported earnings was $1.434 billion, and the estimate was $1.405 billion. So it ran, don't expect it to run even higher tomorrow without consolidating or basing barcoding. But right now it looks like we're going sideways. Let me mark this out. 
93. Change the red to black for myself. Okay. Now to the north side, another level of resistance, lots of different levels of resistance and support in between here. I'm just showing you what I play. And I don't even use VWAP, but it's nice to see it because if I'm trying to buy, I'll go to this green line, the middle of the trend, and maybe even the pink line, see my levels, and definitely down here at 60. But anyway, first to the north side, 75, 79. 7971, 8376, 60, and 56.10. Ignore the white line. That used to be the middle of the trend and the baseline. 5232. So I marked this out at 5232. I'll, sh I'll show you this on a bigger time frame so it's easier to see. But if I want to get some other levels, I will mark this out. This is the middle of the trend right here. And let me change that to white so I know what I'm looking at. So this used to be the middle of the trend, and now we are here. So from this channel to this channel, where we were, represents a basically 23 percent return there so now let me flip this over on the let's go to the mm, let's just go to the daily again i have not tracked this for a very long time but when i tracked this previously i did it back on what is this november of Oh no, December. Oh, this one I tracked November of 2023. And then this one previously, December of 2023. All right. Or oh, I marked it out anyway on that line. So now, oops. So this white line is the previous middle of the trend on the five. And then this one is the current one. And let me clean up my chart here. Okay, this touched to the south side, so that's good. And what is this? Oh, this is just a tiny one. Okay, even though it's a tiny one, it's still touched right there, basically on August the 2nd, before earnings. That's, oh no, the fifth, oh no, the Friday. So tiny, look at this. Let me just make this bigger so I can see this. So that would have been Monday, August 5th, it touched, okay? So that is no longer a threat to the south side. And then we went up. From there okay and this big gap here that I'm tracking has not touched so this is still in play this gap you can't see it because the VWAP chart the indicator is making this look like a hot mess but this touched to the south side and then went up at 62.71 Okay, this one did not touch yet. Oh, and then it touched. Wait, let me get rid of this so I can see better. Right here. Okay, so that's done. That went to 65.41. There. Oops, what was that? Oh, I've got another, okay. Let me delete that one and then, oops. Oh, that's another gap I was tracking, but I can't see that. Okay, that touched right there. I'll have to clean this up on the 
five minute. Okay, let me just delete all this because that gap filled. What's going on here? This gap. Touched right here as well. See, I should be cleaning this up as I go. See, that one is still in play. And then this one is done. Let me just delete this one too. I don't think that's anything. I don't know. Okay, that's done. But you get the idea if you've never tracked the gaps. This is done down to 55.39. Okay, the price target back when I looked at it on November 28th was 56.51. Let me delete that. Oops. What else is going on? So now I'll give you some price targets for the daily time frame. Look at this, ran up massive. What goes up must come down, so I would not hold my breath that it stays here. It will correct, but possibly for another leg up in the future. Oh, wait a minute, see this? No, see, it didn't touch. It looked like it did, but it did not. Okay, so here we are. So to the north side takes us to 72.76 and again that one year price target is 72.13 so that right here will take out that price target and then above that 79.53 that will wipe out that gap up to 74.18 and 86.19 okay and then to the middle of the trend and the baseline will take us back down to 5960. And then what's going on with this gap? So we flushed down, then we touched right here. So this is no longer in play. And let's take a look at this on the monthly. I just wanna see what has been happening here. So, we are, what is this? What was I tracking here? Oh, let me fix that, it's command Z. Yeah, I tracked this a long time ago with Trader Marat here, but I can't move that because somehow I've, I gotta do this on a different time frame. Okay, anyway, you can see I've tracked this here on the 24th for 64, 67, down to 58, 61, and now we're at 69.93. All right, and that's gonna be it for this ticker. Oh, see how it changes when you flip to the different time frames, and you have to clean up the chart for the time frame that you're in, and then when you flip it, to another one, it's gonna be wonky. So just know that. I'll go through and clean that up. And then the last ticker, Airbnb, the bottom of my barrel here, I'll just give you some targets for this very quickly. One thirteen oh one. Okay. To the north side, one fifteen eighty nine. 126 and 137.78 I don't know if I've been, let's just go to the 15 and see what's happening. Now it's been a long time since I tracked this one too. Let's just go to the daily. Oh, look at this fall from grace, wow. 
So we're at support, so I'm going to anticipate a bounce off of the daily. Could it go down even further? Yep, because look at this. What happened here? Reported 2.748 billion, estimate 2.739 billion, and the stock got punished. This will be the October 24th will be the next earnings report. All right, and the one-year price target is 131.11. So in the big picture, this is a great time to buy, but we could doubt, go down even more. So the next line up will be 121.84, and then back down here will be 109.77-ish. Okay, the other one I want to go over very quickly is square, S square, S triple Q's, S Q Q Q. So this is the five minute. I've been in and out of this trade and I am stuck up here at 1116. So next time we get to this level and higher, I will try to get out to buy back in at a better price. Okay. So for your targets, let's move this up so you can see. And right here, 1083 to the north side 1109 1144 and 1177 okay to the south side back at the middle of the trend and the baseline 1038 VWAP is at 1028 And 970, 935, and roughly nine bucks. All right, let's clean up the chart. This gapped down, so I anticipate it to fill up, and it did. And we touched right here on the first. And I traded this one for a 3.22% gain. Not much, but beats putting your money in Chase Bank. This one touched right here to the upside at 9.85. Let me flip this back to the or to the 15 so you can see this so it won't go back any more. Okay, so that's done. Where's my? I move this over. Okay, and that one's done. That one's done. Okay, this gap is still an open wound to the south side, taking us down to 928. Okay, and then this one touched. Been tracking right there. 90, 902, delete, delete. Okay, and this one is still open as well, although we touched it up here, but we haven't closed it out. And then 747 down there. I don't know what happened to this one, so let's just delete it. And the pink lines are my previous buy in lines, and the green lines are my sell lines. All right, that is a look at S triple Q's. And I hope that you have a great trading day. Make sure you hit or a stop limit to get out so you don't bleed out if you can't stomach getting crushed because this market is all over the place. But it also means an opportunity to buy to the long side. But obviously we can go down even more, but if you play the range, you definitely can make some money. All right, that does it for me. Have a great trading day. Bye.